Now let's walk through the settings. In the upper left hand corner, I'm going to click on the three horizontal lines. That takes me to the menu. I'm going to click on settings. The first setting is enable fly animation. We want to turn that on. Fly animation speed should be set at medium. If you set it at high and you're showing Google Earth for Chrome on a big screen, it can make people queasy. Fly end animation, you have a choice of orbital animation, cinematic animation, or no animation. So let's just quickly look at those three options. I'll choose orbital animation and click save. I'll click search and I'll search for Hotel Del Coronado in San Diego. So we fly to the Hotel Del Coronado and since I've turned on orbital animation we get a 3D perspective and we orbit or revolve around the location. If you want to stop orbiting you press the space bar. Now let's go to the menu again go to settings and this time for fly end animation we'll choose cinematic animation and save and this time I'll search for the Space Needle in Seattle so we fly to the Space Needle and when we get to the Space Needle we'll have cinematic animation it's a 3D perspective and I really can't describe cinematic animation. You pan a little bit and then you tilt a little bit and then you zoom in. I'm not a big fan of cinematic animation, but maybe you will be. Let's go back to the settings one more time. And we'll switch to no animation, save, this time I'll search for Chase Field, the ballpark in Phoenix. And with no animation, you get a looking straight down, static, two-dimensional perspective. Let's quickly run through the rest of the settings. For region, the very first time you use Google Earth for Chrome, it may ask you for your region and then it will remember your region. For units of measurement, I chose feet and miles. I also have the option of meters or kilometers. Latitude and longitude, I want degrees, minutes, and seconds. I want to show the zoom buttons. For memory cache size, I would choose something in the middle. It depends on how fast your computer is and I want to enable KML file import and I click Save. 